my friends, welcome to another episode of Nostalgic for Retro. Sorry, it's been quite a while again. Uh, things are just going crazy at the moment, like they always are, it seems. It's just what life is, but no more excuses. Thanks again for joining me for one, uh, another episode. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. If it's your first time here, at the end of the video, if you make it that far, which I hope you do, hit that like button, please. It really helps out. Uh, share the video if you'd like to as well. I would really appreciate it. And to all those of you who already do those wonderful things, thank you so much. At the end as well, too, um, you can always drop a comment on something that you like, something that you'd rather see. I'm always open to any suggestion because I'm just wanting to share this channel with all of you and want to just kind of make this line of communication more open so we can enjoy all this stuff about old school gaming or even some other things as well, too, that might be retro. So today what we're going to do is we are going to review this. This is uh, a Super Mario Bros. little adventure box, uh, collector's box. From Culturefly. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I am not sponsored by Culturefly, or this video is not anything to do with it. Just something really cool that I saw at Target uh, the other day that I decided to pick up. Uh, I've got a few other Culturefly boxes. I got some awesome stuff though. Again, I'm not trying to like say I'm, well, I am kind of promoting them a little bit, but sometimes they throw awesome neat stuff. So this box right here, we're going to do a little unboxing of this. That's what we've got to get us through this Thanksgiving week. So here we go. Let's take off the shrink wrap and see what's inside. Normally I buy these that are in pretty good, sh in really good shape actually, like new. That's why I like to have my stuff. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see, there is a bit of a dent right here. It was the last one that they had. I really wanted it, so got it. Anyway, let's get into this thing. Let me show you what is included and then we'll go over this thing. So here we go in the box. Here's the front. The top, and I saw you showed you the smash side already, and then on the back, this is the content. So we've got a throw, um, what else is in there? A pin, a decal, a beanie, um, a weekend bag. I can't wait to see what that looks like and what kind of weekend are we going to be having. I don't know. Pint glass and some coasters. Awesome. So let's get in. Let's dig into this thing and see what we got here. Okay, so... Get the silica gel out. It's a little snack for later. Kidding. Kids, if you're watching this, don't eat that stuff. I am not liable. Okay. Vinyl decal out of this box. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's old school Mario. This is the original Mario stuff here. I don't know. I don't know if I would put this on something or not. I don't know. It might go on my personal laptop. I don't know. Sometimes I don't mess with this stuff. Sometimes I just... I don't know. We'll see. The beanie. Okay. This beanie is pretty cool, actually. So we have an old, original Bowser beanie in here. Um, yeah, yeah, this box might actually be used. Some of this stuff might be used because there is some neat stuff in here. I'm going to have to say that I do like this beanie. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and slip it on now. Why not? Okay. Uh, appreciate your feedback. 30% off. Order from Culturefly. A little coupon. That's cool. What else? Okay, here we go. Here is the sliding pin. How does this work? So, we got Mario, his little pin in here. Let's bust it open and see. Get this off my lap right now. How does... Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull this out. So, yes, I don't know how it would slide or not slide. I don't know how you make it stay with, put. I guess you don't. That's just it, but... That is kind of cool. I've never seen a sliding pin before. Anyway, that's cool. The coaster set. Go ahead and open up the coaster set here. Take a look at this as well. Oh, I just bent that box a little bit. Yeah, probably end up using some of this stuff more than I am saving it. Soft bottoms, but yeah, a couple of coasters here with original quest is over. So this is when you save the princess. Nice two coasters there. Um, okay. Here we go. Now let's get to the now we're gonna get to the big stuff. So here is the pint glass. Comes in a nice secure box. Okay, I don't want to damage the box. I am very weird like that. I know. I don't, like taking care of my stuff. Yeah, that's weird. I know that's weird for some people. Think, oh my gosh, someone likes to take care of their stuff. Yeah. It's just what you would expect, just like it showed on, on the box. Just a regular old pint glass from Culture Fly with Mario. Eight to four on there, the final bowser battle okay and the throw should probably throw this out but i don't want to, I want to fold it up 
So I'm probably going to put it back in here. Okay, this is pretty neat, actually. This might be covering up my window. I was looking for a cloth or something to cover up the window in here. And I think I might have found it, if possible. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. So, I mean, check it out. Oh my god, I wonder if I can sit back far enough. Ah! Super Mario Bros. 8-4, they're obsessed with 8-4, level 8-4 at Final Boss with Bowser. Because they're all different. <laughs> and... Here comes the weekend bag. So it's all folded up in this pouch and then it comes out. This is interesting how this works. I don't think I've ever had a weekend bag before. Got handles, shoulder strap, cheap cheeps, spinies, fireballs. This is actually kind of cool. This is actually kind of cool. I'm going to fold it back up though. So that's the bot little. Gift bags. Oh, I don't know how to fold this up. I might have screwed it up. <laughs> Ugh. All right. And it's back in there. Pretty cool. So, got the bag. Got the pint glass. Got the throw blankets. And uh, a couple of coasters. What else? We get the sliding pin and decal. $30 for, what, half a dozen items? Price them out at about $5 each. You think that's worth it? Mm, I would say maybe. You know what? It's not, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not bad. Do I regret buying this? No. Let me just say that then. Do I regret it? No. 30 bucks well spent, I think. So... Yeah, cool. It's kind of got shoved back in there right now. But yeah, I would definitely say this is a pretty neat item and definitely worth it. Oh yeah, and the beanie. I forgot about the beanie. So yeah, it's yeah, uh, it's about seven items, about four dollars an item or so. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. Yeah, this was a good little pickup. So glad I got that. Thank you, Culture Fly. Thank you, Target, for having that in stock. Well, the last one it was kind of beat up, but I'm glad I got it nonetheless. Let me know what you think in the comments. What was your favorite item in this little collector's box? Do you think I should just go about wearing everything and treating it like I want to? Or should I just keep it packed up? I don't know. The box is kind of beat up already. Some of these things I think would look better around the room. So that might be what happens with it. You might see some of them in the background of the next video that comes. So thank you again for watching. If you can, give me that thumbs up for that like. If you could, please. Uh, apparently you can't give the thumbs down anymore since YouTube is doing away with that. But it is what it is. Uh, you can always put in the comments what you would have rather have seen. But I appreciate you for watching and making it this far. So thank you once again, my friends. Be safe out there. Happy holidays. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'll catch you next time.